The Saints find some magic and beat the Redskins. Look, I think here's a couple of the takeaways from this game. One, without Marshawn Lattimore and A.J. Klein, you saw Saints defense take a step back against Washington, struggle against the run. Kirk Cousins had a terrific game. But then in the end, the difference was Drew Brees. And I think that's the biggest takeaways. The Saints have run the ball so well this year that they haven't really needed Drew Brees to win a game. But you saw in this one, with six minutes left down, two scores, Brees goes 11 for 11 at one point brings the Saints down the field when they needed him to take over the game he's still able to do it I know it's not a surprise but the Saints haven't needed that yet this year and when they did need it they got it and more than anything else and you saw it in 09 and you saw it in 11 when the Saints needed some magic they got it and Sunday against the Redskins just like in the 09 season when Robert Meacham made the strip in Washington to beat the Redskins, you saw so many little plays in this game. Drew Brees throwing an interception near the end, and there's the hands to the face call. Good call, but it's the kind of thing where when you throw the interception, that's when you get the call. That kind of magic, that kind of mojo was working for the Saints. It was a great win. They're eight and two. And the great thing about being eight and two is you've sort of bought bought yourself a mulligan or two. If the Saints did lose one like this one or one coming up, it's okay because 8-2 and two has put you so far ahead of the curve that now you're thinking about a first-round playoff bye, not just getting to the playoffs. Next week, a huge one against division leaders. The Rams in Los Angeles is a game you can see on Channel 4, and that one hopefully will be as fun as Sunday. A wild, fun win over the Redskins to get the Saints to 8-2. and two.